I never expected that Velvet would actually eat Teresa. What else could she do? We never expected that Teresa would be a Therian either. Velvet and Lady Teresa weren't so different. They both loved their brothers. Not everyone loves their brothers. Some just want them dead. <sighs> so where does this leave us? It seems we must search for the new Therian that will fill the void left by Teresa. It won't be easy to find another who could become a Therian. Hmm. <sighs> then it won't be easy for the Abbey either. And they still may not be able to awaken in Nominat. We still can't assume that we're in the clear, though. No, we can't. If it takes time for the Therian to be reborn, this could be our chance to strike. Whatever happened, the seven Therian's ties have been severed from Inominat. But we won't know if the Empyrean has been weakened until we find out for ourselves. I can try and see if I can sense the new Therian. So let's go back to the prison island first. But I think... Velvet needs time to rest. Right. If we're gonna take down Artorius, she has to be there with us. Yeah. First mate, there's trouble. We got an emergency message from Port Zexen. A ship carrying dozens of exorcists just set sail for Titania. They have orders to eliminate the Lord of Calamity. Yeesh. Looks like the hideout's not so hidden after all. It wasn't me! I didn't tell them anything! Then you won't have any problem helping us. We're rescuing the Therians. Of course not! I won't let them take Kamoana again. Wait. That information came from the Bloodwings? No, from a peddler I often do business with. Exorcist operations like this are usually kept a closely guarded secret. And you're telling me a regular civilian knew about it? You think it's a trap? Trap or not, we don't have a choice. Our enemies know the odds. If they've set a trap for us, that means they think they can win. The Armatus! Yes, they're likely to throw armatized exorcists at us. Even your demon arm can't eat Armati. You might just have a real problem on your hands. If I can't devour them, then we kill them. Yeah, if we overcome the Armati, we can win. Like with Oscar. But his Armatus was still incomplete. From what I could gather, if the Exorcist remains Armatized for too long, their Moloch will turn into a dragon. But to prevent these dragons from running wild, Melchior embedded a self-destruction art in both Exorcist and Moloch. To think they would go that far. Oh. This is all just conjecture, of course, but we should prepare ourselves as best we can. Just make sure not to leave any regrets behind. I can't fathom what the Abbey is doing. Even if they did let us know on purpose, why would they leave us be? I would have expected them to press the attack against us. Even if their aim is to capture our allies as some kind of leverage against us, their plan is too many holes. What if we decided to abandon Kamuana and the others? They'd be no closer to capturing Velvet. Do they actually want the Therians back? What are you saying? Why did Melchior place that illusion on a ball to lure Velvet in? That was so he could capture her, right? And in case he couldn't capture her, he could kill her and create another Therian. Okay, so if securing the Therians is so important to them, why would they throw Orthrus to the winds? That's a puzzler. Melchior was right there, and he didn't try to protect Orthrus at all. I don't understand it. It's like they're toying with us. I don't see any point in that either. They must know we won't give up. Actually... That could be close to the mark. What if they're just trying to rattle us? Everything would fit, including the assault on Titania. Whatever's going on, I don't think we're going to like it. So, Eleanor, about that Armatus Oscar used, was that something the Abbey has been working on for a while? I was never involved in weapons development or anything like that, but I did hear of a secret research division. 
Word was that they were deciphering ancient scrolls and books coming from every corner of the Empire. Apparently, Teresa knew something of the ancient tongue, and they called her in to help from time to time. Did she work on Enominot's book? I was never privy to any of the details, but I think the books were mostly about controlling Malachim. Well, that Siegfried thing of Zavid's is some kind of power control device, right? The Abbey probably learned about Siegfried in one of those books, and realized they could use it to armatize. So Melchior tracked Zavid down and stole the formula. Makes sense. It was all so they could create the Armatus. Will Eifried be alright? Complete or not, they've seen that they can use the Armatus in battle. They have no use for him anymore. <sighs> Let's get back to Titania, Aizen. I'll help out with the ship. Right. Let's set sail. It's an urgent message. Let him know that they'll be arriving at Titania within a few hours. So it was you all along, Bien Fu. M Miss Mogilu! <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't sense it. There is a Gesh on you, interfering with our pact. <laughs> well played, Melchior. Impressive. That old man must have planned all of this from the very moment you escaped me. Even my imprisonment in Titania and my encounter with Velvet. All calculated down to the minute. <laughs> nice. Forgive me, Miss Mogilu! There was no way I could fight against Lord Melchior's arts! Uh, I don't care. I don't care about anything. And I don't care that I don't. We were listening. We heard it all. Ugh, oh, boring. Fine then, do with us what you will. It's not like I trusted you to begin with. Spy or no spy, this was inevitable. Besides, you're not sorry. Make yourself useful and fight for us. <sighs> you're good at this cruelty that's also compassion thing, aren't you? I just don't have the time to deal with you two. After this whole business is over with, I'll devour you, if that's what you want. Hey, Velvet. Tell me, what does it feel like to... hate? Does it torment you? Is it agony? Does the searing fire of your hatred empower you to feel? Does it give your life meaning where there was none? <laughs> Land ho! Titania! There's an Abbey ship in the front docks! Take us around back! If you want your answer, fight by my side. You'll see it the very moment I kill Artorius. In the face of doom, still the crow caws defiantly. <laughs> you really know how to vex me. So, you're using the Forbidden Arts. This has to be Melchior's doing. <laughs> Stop! I'm the one you want! The Lord of Calamity. That again? What a melodramatic name. It's what you're called by the scores of citizens whose lives you've ruined. Face the enormity of your sins. What idiocy. Huh. We'll carve the weight of your sin from your flesh. We are the wings of the divine will. <laughs> the Armatus! As 
expected. themselves just as I expected the Abbey they know exactly what they're doing grimoire where are the Therians couldn't tell you they came out of nowhere and before I knew it we were all split up how's the book nearly done but I'm still working on the critical passages at the very end all of you, get on board the Von Eltia. I'll find the Therians. Oh? You really think we can make it past a horde of armatized exorcists? Stay behind. I don't care. Don't touch that! You don't have to do this alone. We're all in this together. And I promise... I promise I'll protect you, Velvet. You'll protect me. Long ago, Luffy said the same thing. But that sort of idealistic drivel will kill you. Make your worthless promises. They won't change reality. Look what happened to Luffy. Dead. Murdered. And I... I couldn't protect him either. In the end, no matter how much he cared for me, my only brother, he... His life torn away from him. Oh, it must have hurt. Velvet... You worry about yourself, Luffy said. That's an order. An... an order? We have to keep Inominat out of the picture, so that I can kill Artorius. Let's go! We'll push the enemy back and keep an eye out for the Therians. Mm. Scout! I know this isn't the best time, but I have something to say. Please forgive me! I've been a spy for Lord Melchior! You were the one telling the Abbey about us? Yes! I'm so sorry! <laughs> Melchior is a clever one, isn't he? Planting his spy right next to Magilu. After all, a forest is the best place to hide a tree. Melchior used his arts to place orders on Bienfu that overrode Magilu's pact. <sighs> that 
son of a dog. <laughs> Please don't hate me. I meant Melchior, not you. Really? Exerting control over someone else's life goes against everything Aizen stands for. We know you were forced to do it against your will. But my spying put everyone in serious danger. That's still a fact. The Bloodwings also knew what we were up to. The Abbey would have figured it out with or without you. What'd you tell them anyway? Um, uh, that Velvet is actually pretty good wife material? And what fishing rods Aizen prefers? And what Miss Mogulu says in her sleep? And how fast Dial's tail regrows? What? That's what you told them? It's done. Pay it no more heed. But things must be set aright. All right? How? Eleanor, I apologize for suspecting you. I'm sorry. Aizen? That's right! I must apologize as well! I'm deeply sorry, Lady Eleanor! Very well. Apologies accepted all around. Are exorcists using armatization aware that it could cost them their lives? I'm sure they are. If I were still with the Abbey, I would likely be using an armatus too. Endangering one's own life in order to save the many? It's the logical choice. But using something that dangerous so frequently in battle is absolutely wrong. The Abbey must be starting to feel the pressure too. Even so, the losses are unacceptably high. That's how badly they want the Therians, and how big a threat we represent. Or it could be that it has nothing to do with us and the real point is to test their new weapon. That can't be. It's all an experiment? A blade proves its true worth by making it through battle unbroken. Are exorcists all that different? Your logic is sound, but it's still awful. We were able to survive this time, but it won't be much longer until they've perfected the armatization. That's not the only thing we need to worry about where ticking clocks are concerned. Am I wrong? Velvet. It doesn't matter. We kill whoever gets in our way. It's an angel's blessing as long as we win.
First they robbed the Malachim of their will, and now their bodies too. Makes me sick. But still, it fits their reason. They want strength, and no art can squeeze strength from a Moloch like that one. So, you all got away. It was all I could do to flee. I have lost face. You don't have a face! Uh, I was so scared! It's okay now, dear. I won't let them cause you any more pain. M Medissa was the one who saved us. Thank you. I could never forgive them for involving children. That's all. Kuragane, head to the rear docks. Keep them safe. If you find the Prince and Griffin, take the Von Altia and escape. As you wish. Roguro, take the Stormquell. I made it with the Orichalcum you gave me. You actually did it? I abandoned all desire and forged it with a clear mind. You will find no harder sword in all the world. Stormquell. Made from Orichalcum. I'll use it well, Kurogane. Ah, uh, it's complete! The Orichalcum Blade, Stormquell! It's the hardest blade the world has ever known! Even to an untrained eye, that sword is obviously something special. Kurogane is a real master! Color me amazed! The God Blade Storm Howl versus the Orichalcum Stormquell. This will be something to see. Will it end in triumph, or will you need to try more oomph? The gods alone know. The gods have nothing to do with it. Skill alone will determine who lives and who dies. Managed to avoid capture, huh, Prince? As did you. You did well to avoid Artorius and his forces. Lord Artorius is here? He is. I overheard some exorcists mention it. Artorius. If you want to die, do it alone. We're saving the Therians before anything else. Besides, we're so close to deciphering the ancient book. I know. We'll escape from the rear docks. Follow me. Watch out, Princey Wincy. You ain't no Therian. If Griffin gets there first, we're leaving you behind. Uh, understood. Bison, there's trouble. The enemy found the Von Eltia. Several enemy ships are heading this way right now. Set sail, now! able to save everyone. <laughs> There's no escape, Lord of Calamity. Benwick, forget me. Take the Von Altia and leave, now. That's madness. What do you think you're doing? If I don't take them down, They'll sink you from afar! Raise anchor! We'll make it through somehow! Aye aye! But don't die! You hear me? Crazy kids. We're not going to die. We're going to kill. Here 
What do we do now? We'll head to the front docks. To steal an Abbey ship, I take it? That's where the Abbey's main forces will be concentrated. And Lord Artoria should be there too. All the better. But... we still don't have a way to fight Inominat. I told you, if you wanna die, do it alone. I'm not asking you to come with me. Use me. Percival. Don't worry. Griffin got away. If you use me as a hostage, you should be able to steal a ship. I owe you one for this. But don't expect gratitude. I don't. Looks like this is our best and only bet. I'm worried. About this whole hostage thing, you mean? Yeah, that too. But Velvet's acting really strange. And that's unusual how? Moggy Lou! Yelling at me won't change anything. Her thirst for blood knows no bounds. And she's got all the self-control of a wounded beast. With the way she's acting, I'm not sure she'll be able to escape. She's cut her way through all her problems before. She can do it again. I hope so. But everything has its limits. There's no blade that will not break. Nor is there such a heart. When the time comes, you'll need to make a decision. It's best you start figuring it out now. When the time comes... Whew. Well, looks like we shook off our pursuit. Of course we did. This is the Von Eltia. No, it can't be. This is terrible. Turn back, now! What? There's no way we can do that. I finally deciphered the last part of the book. If what it says is true, then you know me not is already. Coast is clear! All right, let's make a break for the docks. <laughs> You're running. <sighs> it's Lord Artorius, and... Sigurai! <laughs> <laughs> no, stop! Please. Now's the time to negotiate for safe passage. Step back, your highness. The girl before you wants nothing other than to kill me. You better believe it! <laughs> this is a trap. We're leaving. Let me go! I have to save her! That ain't gonna happen, kid. Don't forget, you're my ticket out of here, too. I'm not your tool! <laughs> Try to stop me and I'll take you down! Even you, Aizen! <laughs> Your Armatus isn't gonna stop me! Don't worry. I have another trick up my sleeve. <laughs> that sword... Is that a Calcum? Good job, little bro. Never seen that before. Damn right! The hardest sword there is! It may be made of Orichalca. <laughs> Stand down, Shigeru. Don't be a spoil sport. I'm just starting to have fun. Get caught in the middle of this, and even you won't survive unscathed. The one to face Velvet will be a Nominat. <laughs> what? Hello, 
sister. Did you miss me? Luffy! Velvet's brother? So that's his game. That's right. I am Lafayette Crow. And more. I am also Empyrean Inominat, the Suppressor. No. That's... Inominat? If you're gonna do this, you gotta commit. He's our enemy. I know! This is just... Just another illusion! I'll devour all of you! Velvet, that's what you've been doing this whole time, struggling against all reason. Shut up! Don't you dare! Pretend to be my brother! Eat it! Eat it! Your struggles are over. All your pain, your suffering, I'll end all of it for you. Is this the power of an Empyrean? Exactly. This boy is Empyrean in Nominat the Suppressor. But how? We took away his strength! By kidnapping the Therians? Sorry to burst your bubble, but you were a wee bit late. It was never about the amount of malevolence the Therians devoured. What we needed to awaken him... ...was eight different types. Greed. Conceit. Lust. Cowardice. Selfishness. Obsession. Those six Inominat had already obtained by the time you managed to tear the Therians away. That leaves... ...just the two that Velvet carries inside her. Once Inominat has them, he will fully awaken. And I don't even need an Earth Pulse for that. I can eat them right here. <laughs> Hell you will! If you're that weak, stay out of my way. It's all... an illusion. That hurts, Velvet. Shut up! Shut up! Are you going to kill me, sister? Go away! Go away! Go away! Velvet, it was always so hard for me. I was so frail. All I did was cause you trouble. Is that why? Is that why you wanted me to go away? you did. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Luffy. It hurt, didn't it? Fee! Kill him, please! But... please? It's Luffy said! He's... he's my brother! Uh. 
But Velvet, I never wanted you to avenge me. I mean, it's that sort of selfish emotion that creates malevolence, that creates the demons. What? That's why I'm going to help Arthur. We're going to make all the pain in the world go away. Including that hate, that ugly malevolence in you. Ugly... malevolence? The Awakened Inominat will suppress all negative emotions. He will remake humanity into beings free from sin. You take away all their sins, and people aren't people anymore! I think that's just what they intend. Like how they steal free will from the Malachim. It will be a peaceful world, free from pain. So your goal this whole time was to rob people of their free will? If even an exorcist like you can let your emotions tempt you to betrayal, clearly it is the only way. I'll make this world a safe place free from demons. That has always been my dream. Don't worry. My wounds will heal. Once I have eaten you, sister. What's going on? This is bad! We'll be swallowed alive! Wait. I always... Everything I did, I did for you. How could you do this to... Thank you. It's because of what you've done that I need to make amends. You've hurt so many people, and all for nothing. You can't... Love me! But they're within me now. I'll find them. A weapon can't just be hard, you know. It's gotta be flexible, too. Or it'll snap. If you're addressing me, do you care to test that out? Nah. Think I'll wait on that. At least until you and Inominat finish up your armatization. Shepherd Artorius! What have you done?! It's all according to my plan, Your Highness. Let us return to the capital. What just happened? We were eaten by an Earth Pulse. This happened to you before, didn't it? It's different this time. It looks like our awakened friend Inominat is using the land as his vessel. In other words, this Earth Pulse is now part of his body. I was able to flee him only because I found a rift in the Earth Pulse as it formed. So... Velvet and the others? I guess I won my bet. Took long enough. Bravo! You do have a talent, if nothing else. Oh, Melchior. If you're here, this place must be more important than I suspected. Move aside. I must close this Earth Pulse rift. Protect the rift! Do well, and I'll forgive that little betrayal of yours! But if you run, my curse will follow you for eternity! You got it! It looks like I just won my bet. If I let you seal this rift now, I'll never collect. Illusions won't work on me. You can't break a heart that's already broken. 
That day, I interrupted my art when your heart broke. I suppose I was taking pity upon my student. But this time, know that I won't hold back. I will grind your heart into dust! <laughs> to see you're okay. It looks like we got sucked into the Earth Poles. Are you alright, Eleanor? What about everyone else? I'm fine. But... Kill. Kill. They killed. So many. Murdered. Slaughtered. It was all for him. I killed for... him. But he said I was... ugly. Nothing. <laughs> nothing. All for nothing. I can't. I have to kill. Die. Die. <gasps> the whole time, she... You're awake. Come on, we're leaving. I have to kill them. But he know me not as your... It's just an illusion! A fake! A trick! Or... What if it was really him? Then that means he betrayed me, doesn't it? You think I can't kill a traitor like him? Why? Why wouldn't I? Just how many do you think I've killed? You! Who watched me do it! I'm... sorry... Velvet! Fluffy, time to wake up! I told you to stop calling me Luffy. I'm not a little kid anymore. <laughs> grumble, grumble, huh? You must be feeling good. I'm afraid. No, this is At different. A, uh, to come today. a vision of the Until past? Then, you stay in bed. Ah! <gasps> See, I killed him. It was easy. I'm used to it by now. All right, we're getting out of here with your power. But now, we've got to find Eisen and the rest. I said no! Enough! Stop it! They're the ones who need to be stopped! Isn't that right? I'll kill them! I'll kill them all! You must calm down! Fine. I'll calm down and look for an exit. That's what you want, right? <laughs>